Uh, so what do you guys think? Man, just say no to the live action remake. <laughs> yeah. I mean, leave Snow White alone. Just come up with something more creative. <laughs> well, yeah, I guess that's my overall thought, too. Yeah. It, like, we've had Snow White remakes. Mm-hmm. Like, not that long ago. Yeah. My main feeling is, like, why are we doing this in general? Yeah. But I yeah. do think there's more to this story that's worth talking about. Mm-hmm. Oh, sure. That, yeah. Even though that's true. <laughs> even yeah. though, like, why are we doing this? To piggyback off of what y'all were just saying, yeah, like, once you've changed a character Snow White, you've altered the dwarves, you eliminated Prince Charming, at, at what point are you not telling the Snow White story? At what point are you making sure. up your own thing? Right, right. Yeah, yeah just great. Just don't call I, it Snow White. Yeah, wow. just make a whole new movie. Call it, like, like Crawl Point 2 or something. I, I loved Crawl. But, I mean, if we're living in a society that, is, that deems it too offensive to cast dwarves to play dwarves, then why are we making this movie? That's a great point. <laughs> That's very well said. Yeah, I mean, I I guess I agree. I just, because I feel like the story of Snow White isn't all that compelling anyway. Right. Yeah. And so if it's not a compelling story to begin with, and there's this, like, potential problematic hurdle, it does feel a little bit like, why are we doing that? Well, it's like Snow White as a character was just a really nice person who touched everyone that she was around. And so if you're doing away with Prince Charming, you're doing away with the dwarves, and now you got to turn Snow White into this ultra badass, you're not really telling the story of Snow White. So I can see, yeah, it's kind of less interesting. Yeah, well, it defeats the whole purpose of the narrative. Uh, that's, that's the main thing. I mean, I, have a, yeah. I don't have a problem if she wants to be an independent character, but uh, th- the time it was all said in, I mean, there was love involved, friendship. That was what the whole thing was about underneath. They just tear that all apart. That's not Snow White. I don't know who this is. It, it's like they're saying we can't tell this story in today's day and age. No. And if you can't tell the story in today's day and age, why bother making it in the first place? Like, people make movies all the time, and it's based off a book, and sometimes that source material needs to be altered mm-hmm. because the book's so long, or the scenes don't translate well to screen, or there's all kinds of different problems that come along with it. But you're making a movie that's based on a movie that's already been made, a, a highly successful movie at that. So won awards and everything, yeah. Yeah, it's not like that. We, we're just having trouble translating the original source material into the film. It's like, we just don't feel like this is appropriate to translate the film. Then don't touch the freaking movie. But at the same time, then you got to explain to me the hypocrisy behind... Why is it okay to have the dwarves in your theme park? Why is it okay to have a major attraction based on... Snow White and the Seven Dwarves. Why is it okay to still offer storybook dining at Artist Point with Grumpy and Dopey? Why are the dwarves okay in the theme park, but they're not okay in the movies? <laughs> yeah, that's yeah, an that's interesting point. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it's like, if, if they release this movie, what do they do with that? Are they going to update those attractions to reflect the movie? Or? I don't know. It might be crazy to do that. <laughs> it might be Tiana time. <laughs> Tiana time. Tiana, Tiana time. Tiana's taking over the entire park. 